And a few weeks ago, I was out for another round of Art Hopping. And <laughs> I went to two opening receptions. And I was also a guest on a panel. At the Lenore Rolla Heritage Museum in Fort Worth, Texas. Discussing the importance of collecting underrepresented artists. And it was very enlightening. Our community, they literally, I don't think that a lot of us realize, we hold it in our hands. We have the opportunity to uh, literally help this artist and our community ascend mm -hmm. um, when you invest in an underrepresented um, artist and you get to see their ascension and you have that peace at home mm -hmm. and you can pass that down to your children and your children's children or utilize it, like you said, to bring forth generational wealth. I think that's um, so important. And when we make, when we do these actions, it helps that artist as well um, in the art community as a whole because they're being collected. And why not be the first? After the artist panel, we headed over to the Pencil on Paper Gallery located in Dallas, Texas, for a Vanessa Meshack's opening on her new exhibition, Inner Visions. And the show, the new show. Yeah. Okay. And I got third place. Um, see some place here? What the? Maybe I just didn't see it. I enjoyed Vanessa's show. Um, she had quite a bit of work. It was located on the first floor of Pencil on Paper. And it looked like galaxies housed within these vessels' bodies. It was really cool. And, uh, and it was quite a crowd. Um, so a lot of people excited to see the exhibition. And it did not disappoint. Another aspect of the show is that Vanessa employed uh, technology, um, the Sanaa app, where you could scan the image and it would literally come to life. I thought that was so cool. I captured it. So it was a great um, interactive way, uh, way to interact with um, the art itself. As you can see, I was having fun with the technology. Um, I just think it's cool, you know, a glimpse into the future of the things that we'll be doing. Get Vanessa with her mentor in printmaking. Exactly. Perfect alignment, perfect alignment for you to do the work that you need to do.
Located on the top floor of Pencil on Paper was the last day of Abby Salami's solo exhibition from Behind the Vine. For we are not above nor merely under, but within entwined in life's unending leaves, in each leaf's rustle, hear the thunder of a world reborn in which we believe. Next up was Daisha Board's gallery where we went to go see the solo exhibitions for Narong Tinta Music and Antonio Lechuga. Keisha, um, the owner of this amazing space featuring phenomenal artists. Um, if we can have Antonio, if we can have Naron, come up to the front, please. Yeah, no, uh, I thank you, Daisha, for everything and all the words. Uh, for, thank you for the space and to be able to do this. Uh, thank you. Uh, actually, it's, it's less about me. I, I feel like this is all about you and, and everybody here uh, to experience this, all the friends and family that I have here. Uh, if you know my story, if you've been around it, um, at least heard from it a little bit, uh, this means the world that I'm able to be here and doing this uh, and, to, and for you to be able to experience this. So, um, Enjoy yourselves uh, and enjoy the night and enjoy life. In 2022, while out jogging, artist Antonio Lechuga was violently shot multiple times in major organs and had to undergo several surgeries with a long road to recovery. So this show is definitely a testament to his resilience. The people suspected of shooting him had their case dismissed. So I've been taking like this medical information that maybe a spiritualist slash doctor or teacher interpret how my body feels. I feel like a Thai Thai motif with symbols instead of like words and numbers. So that's why you might see like the temple like structure that protects like a form, like it's maybe a tissue or something. Yeah. Night, night and day in the same image. So this would be like the house. Yes. The, the internal house of the body. Maybe like the chromosomes. Maybe it thought to reveal like it's like male or female, but we can't really tell because we're still exploring that from the the, the kind of this liquid or goo that's coming out. Amazing work.
And just a tiny bit, a little bit of my work, I, I'm reimagining um, our medical history, but through like the Thai lens, but it's, instead of like words and numbers that we get from the doctor after like laboratory <laughs> tests, I've been kind of seeing what the essence or the soul of the body after extraction. And I'm more than happy to share more about your work throughout the night. Thank you so much. We ended the night at Daisha's, shut it down, like literally. <laughs> and afterwards, we went to IHOP for some breakfast. And of course, um, my so called friend had to shoot this uh, black male imagery of me. It's okay, I'll get you back. Thanks for watching.